What's going on guys? Justin here, X4 Prospecting. It's the weekend, you know what that means. We are back at the creek looking for more gold. It is me and Mr. Stephen P today. And well, we're testing out a new location. Uh, trying to find a good spot to dig uh, for the summer. As I told you, that creek that we were working is going to dry up in the summertime. So we're out testing new locations and well, we think we found one. Let me pan you guys around and show you exactly where we're talking about and why we stopped here. Alright guys, uh, Steven and I, we both just did a, he did a two bucket run, right? One, one bucket run and I just did a one bucket run. Uh, our first test buckets. Here's what Steven got. Right there. That's a lot of good looking flower gold. I'm still uh, working my way through these black sands so I'll come back and show you what I got. All right, so here is what I got. I got some chunkier gold. And Steven was finding some nice flower gold. He was working the gravels on the inside bend here. And I did half a bucket from in there. And I got some of the gravels from an inside bend over here too. So that is what I got. There's two pieces I missed. There's a couple more. Oh yeah, he's getting some chunkier pieces too. Alright, so, as you can see through here, there's a lot of bedrock. A lot of crevices. And we walk up here. You can see this bedrock. So there is a lot of real estate to dig through here and it's just laddered up all the way up the creek here. So we're going to test pan, test pan, test pan, get into a good layer and fill some buckets up and we'll come back to you. Alright guys, I'm going to show you what we're doing here. Um, I just ran one bucket through my sluice, uh, I've got another bucket filled up ready to go. I just wanted to run that bucket number two through the sluice just to see if I was seeing any visible gold in the sluice and well I am so we're just working right along this edge and it seems to be a very good flood deposit and no that is not the bank the bank is right there so we're a good five or six feet into the creek so uh, yeah, we're just working this layer. Steven's working up there. We dammed off this part right here. That's why there's no water right here. So I'm working right through here. And we're just filling buckets up. And, well, I'm going to go ahead and fill up probably two more buckets. And we'll have three to run. And that'll be a four bucket run. So we'll come back to you when we start running it. All right, guys. I got buckets three, four, and five ready to rock and roll and throw through that sluice right there. Steven's working on, um, what buckets are those? Steven's working on buckets two and three. So let's go ahead and get to it.
All right, guys, we'll come back to you after we get done running the rest of that bucket, that bucket, and that bucket. And we have a cleanup, and hopefully I'll have a pan full of gold to show you. Guys, Steven has a uh, brand new product on the market. Well, not on the market yet. It's prototype. Yeah. Tell us about it, Steven. It's, it's called the square pan. Hold on, hold on. Let me turn this mic around. You tell them how it is, Steven. Yeah. All right. Pinch of material in there. Shake it to the bottom. Nice side to side motion. Then you wash. Oh, man. You have a few shakes. Then you wash. Oh, brilliant. So you get down to where you feel comfortable. Then Pan it out. Oh man, you're gonna have to patent that. I'm sold. How you about you guys? On the back too. See how far <laughs> I'm away from the water? Oh, it's brilliant, man. It's brilliant. Then you can put it all to the corner and just get down right to the fine concentrates. Oh, brilliant, man. <laughs> yeah. Patent pending. Soon. There's my black sand. Oh. All right, guys, uh, he's about to do a cleanup, and I am finishing my third bucket, and then I'll be doing a cleanup as well. Steven, you want to show us uh, show us your black sands that you got out of that? This was my, my tailings, though, from the dig. Nice. All I was doing is painting off in this. <laughs> Look at how well that works, guys. So there wasn't a lot of black sands to begin with, but... Well guys, we just got done running all four of those buckets. Steven ran both of his buckets and well, we are back to the drawing board here. That is why you test pan as you go along and don't do what I did <laughs> and pull four buckets up just assuming it's there. Uh, so here's how Steven did. just a few little flakes in there and well here's my four bucket run <laughs> not very good so back to the drawing board we're gonna go back to uh, test panning I think I'm gonna move into the uh, bedrock a little more clean out some crevices and uh, see what that holds and We'll work our way up and down the stream and test pan from right to left and then back and forward and back and all over the place. So yeah, we're about to knock out 15, 20 test pans each and uh, quickly identify where this gold is. Well, not really quickly, but we're gonna do our best. All right, we'll come back to you. All right. After doing many, many test pans, I have found the pay layer, or the gold line that goes through this creek. And, well, I set a bucket up where I'm gonna be filling up each bucket, but it follows that line. So, first bucket right here behind this big rock, second bucket down there behind the bar, third bucket, blue one down there, uh, is right as the creek starts to make a left-hand turn and all the materials kind of gets pushed out about two feet from the edge so water's coming through here pretty quick and that creates a little tiny whirlpool right there where your gold's gonna fall out so that's where we're gonna fill up the third bucket and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start from the blue bucket start filling that one up and then I'll work to the orange bucket and then to the uh, neon yellow green bucket and we'll have three more ready to run all right guys we got bucket six seven and eight filled up ready to run Steven just filled up two more buckets he's currently running uh, his right now so let's go ahead and run these and see if test panning spots before actually digging them 
pans out. All right, guys, we just ran uh, bucket number six. Uh, and I just did a cleanup because all three of those buckets came from different locations. So I've got bucket number six. It's all cleaned out in that bucket. We're about to pan it out and see how we did. But um, I'm going to run bucket number seven through my brand new Devon Gold VDR sluice mat. Check that bad boy out. So, it's like I always say, get to know your equipment and how it operates. So, before I put this thing to the test, I want to get to know it and see how it operates. And then we'll compare it head to head with Dream Map because, well, I know Dream Map pretty well. I don't know anything about this. So, yeah, we're going to test it out and see uh, see how it works and get to learning it and yeah, go from there. Anyway, well, uh, that's what we're going to run uh, bucket number seven through and we'll probably do a cleanup after that and then we'll boo do bucket number eight and yeah, anyway, uh, let me go ahead and pan out bucket number six and I'll come right back to you. All right, guys, I have the cleanup from bucket number six and well... That certainly pays to uh, test pan. Let me show you how we did. It's pretty good for just one bucket. Look at all that. Got a nice little smiley face in the pan. So, I'm digging that. All right, I'm gonna snuff that up and then we're gonna start running some material through the uh, Devon VDR gold mat. All right, guys. Here we go. I'm gonna do the uh, first shovel full of material into the Devon Gold VDR sluice mat. And I did get all the air bubbles out, so don't worry about that. on the Devon Gold VDR sluice mat here. I had to use the big uh, clamp on the front of this um, box here. And obviously the box is not ideally suited for this mat. And of course, after I bought this mat, VDR or Infinity Prospecting came out with one that is uh, smaller. <laughs> but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and get used to running the Devon Gold VDR sluice mat right now. So that way I can compare it to Dream Map. And that way I can inform you guys of my overall thoughts and show you which one works best. Everything looks like it's exchanging pretty well. The more black sands and stuff I get in here, the more the lights will exchange with the black sands. At least I hope. And obviously this clamp up here is not the right clamp to use but we're making do with what we have so you can see the dark 
black sands are starting to slowly work their way down the sluice and it's making these eyebrows here and you get to about right here and that's when they stop and then it turns to lighter sands and those are exchanging with the black sand so it's a good sign All right, Steven's doing a, a clean up right now. Um, I'm still running bucket number seven here. Uh, so I'm gonna finish this bucket off and I'll come back and give you guys a, a quick close up of the mat again. And uh, then we'll do a clean up and see how we did with this bucket. All right guys, we just got done running bucket number seven. Here is the close-up of the mat. Oh yeah. Looks like it's working, so... Let's go ahead and get it cleaned up and pan it out. Alright guys, I got the clean-up from bucket number 7, where we ran the VDR mat. And... It's a pretty good clean-up. For one bucket. I know that a lot of gold just floated all the way back down into these black sands so there's gonna be more but definitely not a bad cleanup considering I snuffed up about four or five other big pieces that were at the very top of the sluice all right still got bucket eight to run so I'm gonna run that through the double mini cell dream mat there and We'll come back to you when we start running. Alright, we're about to start bucket number eight. So, got the double mini cell dream mat there. And, let me grab the bucket here, put my glove on. Well, it looks like we're running into the uh, same issue. Water flow. I'm gonna have to put this thing back on there. I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna go back to the micro cell dream mat. 
speeds things up through the first section of the sluice here. Make life a lot easier for me. Because now we're on a crunch for time. All right, we're gonna try this again. Bucket number eight. Let's go ahead and run it. Oh yeah, that's much better. So far, spot number seven, where I got uh, bucket number seven, is looking like it had the best goal. Unless this bucket here magically comes out with a lot of gold. We're going back to that other spot to fill up our last bucket or two. All right, guys, we'll come back to you after we get done running this bucket and have a cleanup. All right, guys, I got bucket nine, the last bucket we're gonna run today. Got it from the uh, same spot I got bucket number seven from. Uh, Steven's still running a bucket. So let's go ahead and run this bucket and well, hopefully it has gold in it. All right, guys, I got run or bucket number nine all run and cleaned up, and here's how we did. Not too bad. So I'm gonna snuff that up, and then uh, I'll do a quick snuffer dump, and Steven is uh, doing his cleanup right now. So we'll come back to you. I'll show you my snuffer dump, and. Uh, We'll see how Steven did for the day. All right, guys, I just did my snuffer dump. We didn't do as bad as I thought we did today, but I definitely don't think this is going to be the spot that we spend our time at this summer. So we're going to continue to prospect around in the next few episodes. But here's how we did for the day. Not bad. I mean, not good, but... It's all right so we'll snuff that up and I'm gonna get all packed up and I'll come back to you guys all right guys that's gonna do it for uh, me and Steven today on the creek tried out a new spot found uh, a little bit of gold but all in all we had a really good day just out here relaxing by the creek and uh, testing out new spots and new equipment so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and sign off. It's thundering right now, so uh, looks like the sky's about to drop out on us again. So, with that being said, we'll catch you guys at home on the scales. And with that, we are out. We're out, right, Steven? Huh? So we're out, right? We're out, man. We're out. Like and subscribe. <laughs>
Well, let's see how much we added to the scales. I'm just going to round that in between. Uh, I'm going to go with a point one four. Point one four zero grams, which brings us to a total of uh, nine seven eight five point nine seven eight grams it's not too bad it's definitely not too bad at all all right guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up if you like the episode uh comment below subscribe if you want to and make sure you guys check out that patreon page and with that we'll catch you guys on the next episode and with that we are out